Welcome to Copper Thoughts Media, here with another break for Copper Thoughts Cards. And today, uh, in remembrance of for November 11th, for most recent Veterans Day, we are opening up the Pro Sets Desert Storm Cards. Now, anyone who's been collecting cards or going to garage sales or anywhere, you've seen these boxes. And you always wonder, what is inside? So just to read the outside, uh, they are... Desert Storm cards, personnel, governments, military assets, uh, geography, military skills, leaders, intelligence files, personnel, governments, and oh, just read that again. But there's 10 different styles of educational collectible cards. I have ripped open a number of them. Uh, as you can see, I've already put some in packs. Just to go over some of the, well, leaders I've gotten so far. Let's get a little closer to show you guys. So here's a George Bush. Hafiz Al Assad. Uh, just gonna go through these quickly. So yeah, these are these are what comes inside the cards. Here's a Colin Powell or the packs. Margaret Thatcher. I did have a Bin Laden. I have sold a couple of those already on eBay. Here's the Dick Cheney, General McPeak. Um, just to give you an idea, they they do look to be in good shape. There's no gum inside the cards. There are value to them. However, I will put some data on screen, but just to give you an idea of what is inside these, I do have a couple other factory sealed sets, but I had one. I said, you know, I just have to see what is inside. Just to give you an idea too, here are the military asset cards. Uh, this is what personnel cards, or I'm sorry, intelligence file cards. Uh, the pre pretty much the different snapshots of people in the, um, well, doing their job in the armed forces, which we do say thank you as a civilian. I do thank you for your service and what you've done. Here's some government cards. Uh, some military skill. Geography cards. I do have a number of the geography cards. These are probably the ones I like the most of these sets and you'll see you soon and last but not least here is a personnel card with the coast guard on the front uh, you can still grade these these do still have resale value to them so we're only gonna open a couple of them because they are pretty redundant we'll do four packs now i did try to give them to some of my friends and family who did serve a lot of them didn't want to see these cards, so I want to say they're a little controversial, but I can see why, especially due to current events in the world. But yeah, here is the pack. As I mentioned, it has 10 educational collectibles inside each pack. It's a very thin plastic as well. I've already ripped, obviously, a number of them. You've seen that on the wall. And let's get started. So it looks like the first is a military asset card. I'm pretty much just going to read the main instead of, well, this is simple, just a military ins skill for inspections, looks like. Personnel for firefighters. You never really think that there's firefighters in the military, but there are. Here's a geography for Israel, for Tel Aviv. Geography card for Belgium. A card for peace. I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. Here is a military asset for the USS Midway. Here's an intelligence file for conserving energy. Here's a geography card of the UK. And last in this pack is a geography card of Greece. Now, this will be a good one just to show you guys, too. Like I said, good quality cards. Uh, no fraying really on the sides. Uh, no scratches. Here it is on the back. Uh, so this one just has some stats on the country. Obviously, <laughs> from 1991. So it'll probably be interesting to see how it differs. But uh, just says uh, here, Hellenic Republic, in many ways, Greece was the originator of Western Europe culture. Its recorded history goes back more than 3,000 years. Though reigning its independence in 1829, Greece did not become a republic until 1924. Greece is a charter member of the United Nations, 
for Operation Desert Storm Greece supplied naval units. So this is number 20 out of the sets. Uh, I do need to put the stats up on screen. I did have that out, but just to see how many cards are in the whole set. What I would do, I would definitely grade or keep the geography cards. I think I might be able to have them all once I'm done ripping a couple more boxes. So here is a military asset Warbird for the F-16 Fighting Falcon. That's a mouthful. Here's one for survival. Mil definitely a military skill. Personnel for the U.S. Marine Warrior. Some of them you can see they are a little chipped or frayed on the edges, but like I said, these are from 1991 and they're in pretty good shape. Here's a government card for the Iraq sis, Iraqi system. Uh, geography card for Pakistan. Military asset, armor, and artillery for the Challenger main battle tank. Here's a military asset fighting ship for USS Richmond K. Turner CG-20. U.S. Naval Academy personnel. I know some people that might want this card. Here's a government card for the Kuwait system. And here's a geography card of Egypt with the Sphinx on it. Pretty nice. So I do have a lot of friends who are teachers. <laughs> so I do know that the geography cards, those might be something that they would be interested in. But I'm, as I mentioned, a number of my friends who are in the military, they're like, they don't, they were very torn on these. They're like, yeah, I don't, they don't want these. <laughs> and I have a number of them. As you know, Tops made pack military cards and Pacific Trading Company. I have some of those as well. Um, here's the next pack of military asset Warbird UH-1 Iroquois. All right. Let me go a little quicker. Military asset Ar Aramant. Arraignment M2 M3 Bradley fighting vehicle looks like a tank. Here's an intelligence file for rank geography card for Syria, geography card for Bangladesh, military asset Mirage 2000, military asset for the Spray Sperance class destroyer, another military intelligence for donating blood. A leader card. And last but not least, a ge geography card with the Great Wall of China on it. Pretty cool. I am a cartography buff. I do collect maps as well. So that's another reason why maps and globes. So probably will keep those. So okay, let's see here. Last pack magic that I'm be opening on camera. Probably will sell some of these individual packs up online. I don't think so. I'm probably just going to give some away. But here we go. Military asset for the AH-1 Cobra. The USS America. Intelligence file for the Middle East Ancient. It's a nice step right there. Or some nice steps. Where is that a picture of? It doesn't really say. A leader for James Baker. A geography card for Japan. Military asset Warbird for the UH-6 or G-0A Blackhawk. Uh, USS Missouri. Military asset fighting ship card. Middle East history to present. Wow. Looks like some bombers flying over the Giza Plateau. Here's a leader card. And last but not least in this pack, we have the geography card of Saudi Arabia. So what do you guys think? Are these appropriate still? Uh, is it a little, I don't know, a little awkward? Do you guys sell or grade these when you come across them? Because as we mentioned, you see these boxes everywhere <laughs> so i wanted to definitely open one to give an idea of what is inside no cards on the bottom or anything like that but uh, definitely a fun rip thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time